I predicted the Patriots would win a competitive close game, 31-24, to and that they would make more great plays than the Titans. And the Titans would be able to run the football would run the football successfully so the Tannehill wouldn't have to throw the football for most of the game. And the game was what I predicted and better than what I predicted. The Titans were able to run the football successfully, which is why Tannehill didn't have to throw the football for most of the game since he threw the football 15 times and completed eight of those 15 passes. And Titans made more great plays than the Patriots, and the Titans ended up winning a competitive close game 20-13. I was really amazed with the Titans winning this game 20 to 13, mainly because I didn't expect them to their defense to play this great and hold the Patriots in a wild card game in New England to 13 points, which included Patriots only scored one offense. They only scored one touchdown in this game and they were shut out in the second half. And in the first half, the Titans, they their defense, they played great, which included they were able to get a stop on a third down. At the midfield, Patriots weren't able to run for first down. The Titans' defense was able to get a stop, forcing the Patriots to punt. Again, on a third down, Patriots were able to move the football for their first uh, for the first drive of the game. They were able to move the football, except that on third down, the Titans' defense was able to effectively defend against the pass, so the Patriots were held to a field goal. And then... On a goal line, there was a goal line stand. Patriots were able to get the football in front of the goal line, except first, first and goal, run the football. Titans were able to get able to get a stop. Second and goal again. Patriots run the football again. The Titans were able to tackle, get the stop, and third and goal again. Titans were able to get the fo- able to tackle the Patriots Patriot runner and prevent the Patriots from running. Scoring with a running touchdown, so an impressive goal line stand by the Titans defense. They were tested, and they were able to effectively defend, including with not much, including with having needing a goal line stand, holding the Patriots to a field goal, which was highly impressive. And also in the first half, there was a Hail Mary pass by Brady. He throws it into the end zone. Titans defense is able to knock it down to prevent the Patriots from scoring. Touchdown, which would have given the Patriots a lead. So, again, another great play by the Titans' defense. Could have been a momentum-changing play if that pass is caught. And also in the first half, the Titans, they had two offensive drives for their two offensive drives that they scored for a touchdown. There are two offensive drives that they scored for a touchdown. The first offensive drive that they scored for a touchdown. Again, most of the movement was Henry running with the football before Tannehill would throw the football into the end zone for a touchdown. Great great um, pass by Tannehill because it was third down. And if the Titans, Titans not scoring a touchdown, that would have been a – and being held to a field goal would have been a high waste of a drive. So it was great that he ended up throwing the football into the end zone. It was caught in the end zone for a touchdown. So better than the first down, the Titans got it into the end zone. It was caught for a touchdown because of a great pass by Tannehill. And then on the Titans' second offensive drive, for the other for the Titans' uh, other offensive drive, they ended up moving the football again. Most of the f- movement was Henry running with the football before Henry to run into the end zone for a short distance touchdown. So Titans were able to benefit with move the football, with most of the movement being with Henry running with the football, and that continued in the second half. Not as successfully as the first half because most of the most of the yards that 182 yards that Henry ran for was mostly in the first half since he ran for more than more than 100 yards in the first half, but he still had a effective or a great second half because he ended up running for more than 60 yards in the second half. So the Titans continue to be able to run the football, move the football by running the football with Henry running with the football. So, again, Tannehill didn't have to throw the football for that much, but when he did have to throw the football, he was completing valuable passes, which included for first downs, other completed passes, and also um, a pass in the end zone for a touchdown. So he ended up playing great for, even though he didn't throw the football that much, he ended up playing a great game, and he only had, there was only one turnover, he ended up throwing 
a deep pass that was caught by the Patriots defense, but because the Titans defense was playing great, the Patriots weren't able to benefit from that turnover at all. They weren't able to score any points at all from that turnover. And successfully, the Titans were able to... I was highly impressed. The Titans, they were also... um, Logan Ryan, he ended up redeeming himself because in the first half... He ended up dropping a pass where no doubt at all, if he catches that football late in the first half, that he's worth turning in it for a touchdown. He's not able to hold on to the football and run for what would have been a pick six, but he redeems himself in the second half because the Titans, they were able to, the Patriots, they were defense, they were able to get a stop to get the football one last time for a game-winning drive. Except uh, the tight, except Titans got exactly what they needed because Henry, because the punter Kern he was able to punt the football and the Titans special teams were able to get the exact punt that they needed and get the stop right on the goal line and then Patriot so Brady he is having to throw while in his own ends while in the Patriots end zone and he throws the football. Titans defense is which gets knocked up. Logan, not I mean not. Yeah, Ryan in the right. Logan Ryan in the right spot at the right time. He's able to. He's in the right spot at the right time with the football being knocked up. He's able to catch that football and then easily run into the end zone for a pick six, which was that was a great play that I was not expecting at all. I was really amazed. I was mostly expecting maybe. They create a fumble by Brady. They create a fumble and cover the football in the end zone for a touchdown, or maybe Brady gets sacked for a safety. But I wasn't expecting the football to get knocked up. Logan Ryan to be Johnny on the spot, catch the football, and then easily run in the end zone for a touchdown. So that play really amazed me. And what also amazed me was the fact that Henry he was able to carry the football team on his back. He was able to run the football. He was he had a great game running. He was able to carry the football team on his back as far as running, which is why Tannehill only had to throw the football 15 times in this game. And he had a great game, ended up running for 182 yards. He looked like freaking Earl Campbell, easily running versus the Patriots defense. Long runs, long runs, long runs for both in the first half and in the second half. So I was really amazed by the great game that Henry had. And exactly as I expected, if Henry was able to have a successful game, then the Titans would be able and score when needed, and then the Titans would be able to keep this competitive close game. And that's exactly what it remained to be, exactly what it remained for both the first half and the second half, and they scored when needed. And I was just really amazed that the Titans were able to hold the Patriots scoreless for the entire second half in a wild card game in New England. If you would have told me that the Titans were going to be able to win and the Patriots would have scored both in the first half and the second half, including touchdowns, I would have, yeah, I would have said that's believable. But if you would have told me that the Titans' defense would be able to hold Patriots only one offensive touchdown and the Patriots wouldn't score any points in the second half, I would have had to seen that to believe that. So that's why I'm really amazed the Titans end up winning this game 20 to 13, including the interception that ended up mostly sealing the game because then the Patriots, they needed a Music City-style st- miracle play. Special teams, they end up lateraling, lateraling multiple times, except the Titans, def- Titans special teams was able to recover the football instead of risk, instead of trying to grab the football, end up scoring for another touchdown. They could have, possibly, but except they just decided to go with the Go with not risk any chance of the Patriots um, being able to cover the football and score a touchdown. So end up a very impressive 20 to 13 win for the Titans. Wild wild card win for the Titans in New England. And once again, the Vrabel Titan for the second I'm really amazed for the second second year in a row, the Vrabel Titans look like Super Bowl contenders when they played the Patriots because they gave the Patriots last season their worst loss of the season, including as far as margin, 34-10. to 10. It was a game that they outplayed the Patriots from start to finish, always led. 
scored first and they always led and end up winning 34 to 10 and then a year later showing that that wasn't a fluke the Vrabel Titans they play the Patriots in New England and they end up winning 20 to 13 which included Henry running for 182 yards running for one touchdown he carried the football team on his back able to successfully run with the football Grant he had a great game running for both the first half and in the second half easily able to running for more than more than 100 yards in the running for more than 100 yards in the first half and nearly almost ran for 200 yards and he also caught a pass by Tannehill and end up running um more than 18 yards to set up the Titans uh set up set up the uh Titans on the goal line so he was also highly even when he wasn't running with the football he still had his, he also had a reception and in a running for a high amount of yards before running for his for the Titans second touchdown so I was just really amazed and extremely happy that the Titans end up winning to 20 to 13 and Titans making sure showing that the Patriots and Showing that the Patriots, Patriots fans, and vast others are, are going to forever remember that the, the night that the Titans went in New England and won a wild card game 20 to 13. Very impressive, great win by the Titans and a great team win. Great performance by the defense, great performance by Henry, carrying the football team on his back, running for 182 yards, ran for one touchdown had a reception and ran for more than 18 yards for that one reception, if I recall right. And also, um, Tannehill ended up playing a great game because of completed eight of those 15 passes, and one of those eight, one of those eight completed passes was into the end zone for a touchdown, which was on a third down. So a great win for the Titans, including the fact that they were able to mostly seal the game with Ryan catching the football and then returning it into the end zone for a touchdown. Amazing, great, unforgettable win for wild card win for the Titans winning twenty to thirteen.